Flashback to 2020. The Washington Nationals were the defending World Series champions. COVID was just starting out. Hell, my favorite player, Alejandro Kirk, was literally just making his debut. A lot of things were different just a few years ago. One of those things was Marcelo Zuna. In the offseason between 2019 and 2020, Marcelo Zuna decided to switch ball clubs. The Atlanta Braves reached out to Ozuna and inked him to a four year $65 million deal. Now at the time he had a career OPS plus of 113 and had pretty much always been an above average contributor on offense. What he was about to do next though was a lot better than just above average. In his first season with the Braves, Marcel Ozuna hit for a 338 batting average with an OPS plus of 177. He had 56 ribbies through 60 games. At this this point, the four-year contract was looking like an absolute steal. Marcelo Zuna was finally blossoming into the elite power bat that everybody knew he could be. Or so we thought. Marcelo Zuna has just come off of a regular season campaign where he hit for a 226 batting average with an OPS plus of 89. He was also only getting on base 27% of the time, which is frankly just terrible. Those subpar numbers, believe it or not, are slightly better than his 2021 numbers. In that year, he hit for a 213 batting average. So what the heck happened? How did somebody with as much potential as Marcel Ozuna fall off so hard. Well, getting arrested twice in 18 months probably doesn't help. In May of 2021, Marcelo Zuna was arrested from his home on charges of aggravated assault and battery. And maybe the worst part about that whole situation is that the victim was his wife. Obviously, this wasn't going to fly with anybody, so Marcelo Zuna was put on administrative leave by the MLB and completely missed the Atlanta Braves World Series run. Ozuna came back to baseball this year, and I think a lot of us expected that he'd be on his best behavior, thankful that he even got a second chance in the first place. Well, apparently not. Marcelo Zuna went viral earlier this season after he was pulled over by a police officer and was clearly intoxicated. He tried to pull out his MLB card and play off the fact that he was this MLB star, but the officer wasn't having any of it. Since then, he's come out and apologized, said he's made a mistake, but guys, the damage has already been done. Fans are booing him now. The Braves don't even want to play him anymore. And honestly, if Marcelo Zuna's contract wasn't as big as it is, he'd probably be out of the league already. This is a sad story of a guy who had so much potential and just threw it away. And now he's hitting 220 on a team that doesn't even really want him anymore. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below about this ridiculous ridiculous collapse of Marcelo Zuna. Also, please hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and go Jays go.